Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your reading for September 2019. Hope this finds you well and welcome to all the new, my new subscribers. And for, if you haven't already subscribed, please please do. Um, I've been running like a competition for the videos that get the, the zodiac sign videos that get the most likes, shares and subscribers and you know who hit the icon, the bell icon, will get a free tea leaf reading for the following month. So for this month it was Scorpio, Scorpio 1 September. So if you want um, one for next month then get sharing also please look up your moon sign and your ascendant sign because these these are all general readings and it may give you a better um rounded idea of what's happening in your life remember these are predictive so i can't give you a time this is for september but it may have already started happening or it may be later maybe october november so just bear with me on this now, let me have a look here, Capricorn, because it would seem that you're starting the month of September feeling trapped. You could be feeling kind of hemmed in. This could be to do with maybe you're in a job that you don't like doing anymore and you just don't know if you've got transferable skills that you can take to another uh, line of work. You could be looking to change your career. You could also be looking to maybe end a relationship also because if you can see here that with the eight of swords you're surrounded by swords but you could you could get out of this if you wanted to because you're not completely there is there is a way out you maybe just can't see it at the moment you want to make changes but I think you've been just going through this for so long whatever it is remember this is a general reading that you just don't know where to start the point to start is to realise that you are in control of your life. It may not seem that way, but you are. And I think September is going to be a time where you are going to look to change how things are going. The Four of Swords, a time out. You're needing a rest, I think, Capricorn. I think you've been just... Maybe being unhappy or just not feeling fulfilled for such a length of time that you are definitely needing to recharge your batteries. You could be looking to do some meditation, do some guided meditation. Maybe even do things that relax, that, that does relax you and maybe to de-stress. You could have been going through such a lot of stress, Capricorn, that you're looking to maybe go for a massage or... Take walks in nature. Now I know the guy. You know you can see that they're lay, they're laying down here, but you're always ready to get up and start moving again. We have the sword right at right at your side. You you aren't out. You aren't down and out. You you are ready once you have been rested and taken care of yourself. You will be able to get back up again and get back on that bike and or saddle or whatever you want to call it and get moving but you do need a time to refresh um, and re-energise because I think this feeling of being kept down or feeling stagnant when I say, if I say feeling stagnant it's like almost like you could be going through a groundhog day where you get up you go to work you do the same and it's just it's it's not fulfilling any longer so you're not trapped, you will be able to change and I think you're just needing to give yourself a break away from it. You could even be thinking about even taking a holiday, physically physically going on holiday, just to, just to clear your mind. Now we've got a Queen of Wands here, you've got a lot of wands here. Um, and I think, you know, this Queen of Wands, it, it, it can be a fire sign, an Aries, um... Leo Sagittarian person that can be coming in for you. Maybe this person is going to be the one that that does get you motivated because they tend to be very um, motivated people. The, the, Wands tends to be where it's very fiery, fast moving, the energy will be there. This could be you, you may already have fire in you, 
some part of your chart where it does give you that kickstart to get moving and make decisions on how to make change. This could be you, even though um, you, you are a Capricorn, I mean, you are an Earth sign. Air signs being very home buddies and, you know, no wanting to upset anybody, care for everybody, do your best for everybody. I think you're going to start to take on this kind of more self, self, self selfish, not in a bad way, it sounds terrible, but I mean, more like what you need now, it's about what you need now, it's not about taking care of everybody else's needs or even doing the extra bit. If it's in your workplace, maybe you do more than most people. And it's time now to just say, do you know what, my needs come first. And I think that's what you're going to be doing, Capricorn, um, and starting from the month of September. There's going to be a new offer coming in, and it could be an offer of work. And this is maybe what you want to happen. You are maybe feeling stagnant and can't move, but a new offer is definitely coming in for you. And we ha Because we have the Ace of Wands here, and that can be a new offer in... Um, a new offer of work, a new offer of a, uh, a new project, um, could be a new offer of, ro when I say romance, something quite feisty and quite physical. I mean, we, ha we do have a king of wands here. So we could be looking at maybe a, a new male coming in on the scene. And it could be quite a hot sexual relationship coming in for you. Capricorn, we, we, Capricorn's being air signs, th this guy could be just full on, maybe a bit too full on for you, that you're not quite sure whether or not you want to take this any further, because um, I think the, the chemistry, the, the sexual chemistry will be there. The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, there we go. I really do think this guy is going to be bringing this, when I say a guy, either, either that's you and that's them, or vice versa. If it's the same sex relationship, I don't know, it's up to you. But I, I think someone is coming in to really stir up something in you, starting the, the month of September, Capricorn. You started off needing to make a move, and because you feel so stagnate, stagnated, and by the end of it, you have... It looks like a new relationship's going to be getting started. A, a very passionate one. I don't know if it's going to be a really loving relationship. Could end up that way. But I think the sexual chemistry is definitely going to be there. For your gemstone tarot card, let's see. Now, if these gemstones you can actually just pick up anywhere. They're not expensive. So, um, you could get one on. Oh, for goodness sake. I'll take this one. Shell Fossil, that's a very st quite st striking card. It looks like it's got marks all the way through. Are you ready to uncover memories or wisdom stored within your consciousness? Spiral inward to understand your dreams and visions. Recognise the value of the past and use it as a stepping stone for the future. You have much wisdom inherent within you, so use it. The angel card for this is Archangel uh, Jophiel. Wisdom is stored in my cells and bones. I am conscious of my intelligence. I tap into an ancestral knowledge. Meditation comes naturally. I go within for guidance every day. I integrate and process all that I perceive with ease. Now, we, we did talk, in your main cards here, we did talk about going inward and meditating. And I think that's what you have to do, just to clear your, you, you have the answers that you need. It's just, it's just basically um, trusting, trusting what you already know to be the truth. And to get in a clear view and... Um, a mindset that allows you to move forward. So that is called Shell Fossil. If you want to get one of these stones, if you think it would help you, and um, you could put it on your third eye if you want to do. If you want to lay lay down and do some kind of meditating with it, you could place it in on your throat chakra, which will let you communicate better. 
and you could also just keep it you know you could maybe get a, you can get them in these bracelets now um or keep it in your pocket or your bra or something wear it on your person and it will give you the strength to um understand your dreams and your visions of what it is that you need to do so i hope you enjoyed that capricorn please um leave me a comment if this doesn't resonate look up your moon sign and your ascendant sign and that may resonate better but i hope to see everybody later in the month of september and have a great september speak to everybody later bye bye